Hi, Mutable Signs. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for your 48-hour readings for Gemini and Sagittarius and Pisces and Virgo. So the sun right now is in a mutable sign, so I will also direct people over here. Actually, I could be speaking to the cross watcher uh, at any given time, as you all know. So uh, these are new videos that I'm doing now on a regular ba basis, along with the 72-hour readings that can just be grouped for element signs. So if something over here on the 48-hour uh, mutable sign reading uh, does not, um, you know, resonate with you then go check one of those other readings out so anyway this is going to run from today's date the fourth which the last 48 hours of these set the set will overlap so we'll go from today the fourth or i'm sorry today um oh my gosh Today is the second, and it will run through the fourth, okay? And so they're still overlapping because those last set in today is what I'm trying Oh, my gosh. Trying to say that is confusing. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and jump in here. If you're new, welcome. I could come across religious at, at times, but I'm absolutely not. I'm just very spiritual, and I allow the Spirit to speak any way that the Spirit wants to because we're free. And I do not put the Spirit in a box. So just to, in a nutshell, that's who I am. And those of you who uh, know me, welcome back. I appreciate you all so much. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started and see what the Divine wants you all to know. Thank you, sweet Divine, for Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, and Virgo. This will be for the 2nd of March through the 4th. That's the most important thing they need to know. I bind and block all negative forces. And I thank you for your truth and your wisdom and understanding to come forth and to reveal a thing for the person who needs an answer right here, right now, for their situation. This could be past, present, or inevitable things that you are uh, looking at. So we got three that's come out here. And um, normally I just want to take one, so I will um, just sit with this for a second, see what the divine wants to say. So we have the Zine, which is the seventh letter, which is the Z. We have the L which is the Lamid coming out here, which is the 12th letter. And we have the Noon coming out here, which is the 14th letter here. So um, we've got something being harvested in a very wide scope of an area taking place here with the Zine. This has to be, do with crop and your necessities and seeds being sown. It is a seven. Seven's a seeker of truth. So if you're looking for some type of truth and to harvest something, something's either being cut away or it's time for you to go and to find something out uh, that has been taking place in a very wide scope of an area or in a big, big way. Okay. We have teacher staff here which is um or the shepherd staff which is to teach us to move us and to push us and pull us in a new direction or uh you know something's being moved something's being cut away here in the next 48 hours for some of you all um that is also um karmic energy coming out it's also the Empress energies with the vibration of the three the hangman energies of letting go of something there's a trial here for some of you all um, there's also integrity attached to this in a big, big way. There's truthful. There's also, there's luck here for some of you all. And travel being shown here. And, and a, a big time family. Salvation to some things. And uh, even death energies are showing up here. Um, we've got reconciliation as well. Deliverance of uh, maybe, you know, if we're talking about if somebody's been in need of something or something had been cut away in the past or something like that, somebody, you know, be coming along and helping you in some big way here. Um, the devil energies around somebody as well being shown. Something's being secured, the divine said. We've got uh, law here. We actually got the, and I always point this out. I won't tell you how I'm seeing it just for time's sake, but there's jail here. There is something also happening for you guys starting today that will have a significance for you in, in the month of June as well, the divine just said. Somebody's real zealous in a situation. 
and uh, it's either going to make you or break you, it's either going to protect you or destroy you, or it's going to deliver you depending on how your integrity is, is um, being displayed here. It's, it's huge. Okay, what's out here? And it affects the family. And uh, your children are involved, obviously, with the family, but there's something with somebody's child or and or children. I don't know how this is affecting everybody and what the Spirit's bringing through my spirit. I just heard in my spirit they're being taught a lesson. And I don't know that, that that's just the wording. So that can be positive or negative depending on who you are. And because uh, there's devil energies out here and there's also decisions out here in a, in a positive and negative way. It goes that way all day long, obviously. But there is victory out here. Somebody needs to release something. that Somebody's been hanging somewhere for a long time and not willing to release um, but the divine said that those who have been hanging people up in situations that wouldn't release, the divine is going to come and deliver something for you. Um, somebody needs to go get counseling. What the divine just said. Okay, let's move on. That's all I'm picking up from that right now. There's a snake around somebody. It's been hiding around and lying out of both sides of its mouth trying to harvest something in a very big way. I just heard somebody say in my spirit uh, that, or the divine's letting me know it's just being impressed in my spirit that somebody thinks that they got a point to prove, and they're so far off because they've literally they just went they've just went off course in a very big way. This person is very sharp and very cunning. Okay. So, whatever that's for, you'll, you'll know that. It'll resonate or it won't. We've got um, angels are watching and helping. And there is another side of the story. Like I said, somebody is uh, has said some things, done some things, been real cunning, and tried to hide some things by way of they think they got a point to prove, but they're way off, but the angels are here helping in a situation. There's deliverance of salvation here. The divine is taking the, the the shepherd's staff to protect somebody. And something is definitely being moved in a new direction. We also had energies in the 72-hour reading for the element signs. We had the ox head come out of a strong clan type leader or a company leader or family leader of some sort that was also going to be moving something in a, in a new direction as well. And uh, we've got positive and negative budding heads here in situations for you mutable signs or wh whoever I'm talking to. And something those being cut away. There, it says cut. Okay, it's cut. And it says I'm protective of you. Somebody has been being protected. All right, and that just jumped out. And, and uh, regardless who this person is, this real cunning person, the angels are, ha are helping. Okay, they, they don't, these people don't have any light about them, okay, that are around you that want to do that to you. Okay, so we've got positive partnership and equality coming out here, which is positive. That's beautiful. And there's big time unity in a situation, okay, and that could go both ways. There's victory out here, though. There's absolutely victory in a very big way uh, showing itself. What else do you want to say, Divine? What's going on with this? Okay, that one wants to come out. The emperor, the boss, the headship, corporate, okay? Someone who has conviction in the upright and will give aid, okay? Um, 
could be dealing uh, with a cardinal sign. Obviously, it's coming out here, so that would, you know, normally I don't throw these out here, but I guess I, I'm feeling led to. This is Aries energy coming out here. Mars, there's war going on, like I said. Uh, somebody's needing some deliverance and some salvation, and you're going to get it because somebody's protected. But protected, protected. Angels are watching and helping, okay? There's there's big-time unity in a situation. You don't have to worry. And like I said, there's positive um, headship that's got something under control here. There's conviction here, though there's warring going on. Family, okay? we got family here in a very big, passionate way coming out here. We've got law and gratification coming out here. And somebody's going to get the skills, you know, evened out something's being cut okay we've got the boss out here and somebody's been real cunning around you a co-worker or talking about both sides of their mouth and, and stuff like that and you've had to be protected within some type of a work dynamic or some type of a connection to somebody in leadership or leadership's been watching over something something's known here Okay, this huge, the emperor comes out, we've got a broad scope of an area, we've got the uh, empress energies already, which is the counterpart to the emperor, that's known things, okay, projects, and family stuff, okay, the truth is here, okay, we've got a judgment going on, okay, secret service agents, thank you for your service to those of you who are protecting in situations, um, this is other people's money and property. We got pentacles here as well. And um, things coming to the surface just boom, right up in your face. There's a second, there's people coming back around for an evaluation of something, okay? And uh, somebody be losing their job in the next 48 hours. We've got the nine of pentacles coming out here. And that's somebody who is very much self-sufficient, good investment, hard worker. They get there because of that. This is somebody who's got discernment about them. And um, they can do them all by themselves. Uh, they're single. Okay. Is somebody who possibly has been segregated, obviously, because if you've got coat, we've got pentacles out here. Okay, we've got people's money and property out here. We've got somebody standing up and giving aid. There's competition around a situation here. Okay, there's brainstorming and, and um, look, the five of wands comes before the um, promotion card. And we've got the boss out here. And somebody sees something that's taken place because a great big horn has been blown on it or will be. Now, if this past energy for you, you're going to be looking pretty and looking good. Okay? You're going, you're going to be able to harvest something because there's some kind of jubilee coming to you. Jubilee means you're going to get back what uh, has been stolen from you. Your money, your property, uh, your livelihood. Okay? And, uh, in a very big, big way. The divine showing it so. Okay? So whatever this energy has been about, I just need to relax. The divine's got it all figured out. There is another side of the story, and it's been hidden. The judgment card shows that something that has been dead and buried, but something literally coming to the surface Big time unity about some things here. Give me some more cards on this information, please, Divine, that you are. There's partnership. There's partner. There's positive partnerships and decisions being made. You know, the emperor also has a meaning of protection. Like I said, he'll give a, get up and get a, give aid. There's uh, integrity here with the world card, which is Saturn, also the boss. Okay, we got headship also can be found here in corporate that may have been butting heads but there is a decision being made something's coming literally right to the surface in a very big way ending ending um we've got the eight of wands that swift communication taking place to end something if you're standing in integrity or have been standing in integrity something's ending here we've got um the eight of pentacles coming out uh, again a lot of work stuff a lot of work stuff here. Two eights, there's been prejudice stuff. Like I said, we've got segregation here in a very big way. But somebody stood in integrity, regardless of all this brainstorming, they've been protected. Okay, they've been inside of something protected. The eight in the Hebrew is also being protected. 
okay? At the same time, the enemy, I just did a reading today, and that was about the how the um, destroyer is watching, but also the shepherd is watching to destroy the destroyer for what the destroyer is trying to do to someone, so somebody around you. Um, don't be afraid to go to your leadership, okay? You will uh, know on the inside if you have truth within you in which way to be moved in that direction, okay? We've got the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and uh, that goes both ways. That's messages. That's being sweet. That's kind. Uh, if there's competition around a love situation, and you've had to be protected of that, uh, there's messages coming for engagement for some of you all. We've got law here. There's something ended. Something's very much over. Okay? Because the world card is here. That's an ending to a big major cycle of something that's, that's uh, taken place. There's communication coming. We got it in the wands. Somebody got, having a tower. Somebody's having a tower here. Uh, what else you want to do, Divine? I think I want to take an oracle card through the animal totem and see what the Divine brings out for you all. So obviously something's changing here. So we have Aries, we have Scorpio, we have Virgo. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo with the pentacles here. Libra's showing up really big and strong. Um... Cancer, Sagittarius, um, Pisces, Taurus and Sagittarius there, Aries and Leo. Well, obviously we've got Capricorn, Aquarius, uh, and Leo and Taurus and Scorpio here with the world card. What else do you want to say, please, Divine, for the mutable signs? <laughs> A lot. They just want to jump everywhere. What do you want to say? Okay. So we have the cricket. That's interesting because it's come out three times on today's date uh, in three different readings for me. Okay, so... This is about good health. We've got hospital energy here as well and things that have taken time. And um, Pentacles is also about health. We have protection here now showing up in three different, four different ways here. Somebody's been protected. This is also a protection card because somebody's inside their garden um, being watched. This is intelligence. The cricket represents a, a gift of foresight in situations. It's an insect that can see things in the night, okay? And it also makes a sound in the night as well. So, um whatever that's for, you know, people have been watching and hearing those sounds for protection's sake as well. You're not the only one um, that's going through this. is huge. It's a broad scope of an area that something's taken place where angels have had to be watching over you and others going through same similar type of things where headship has had to get involved. Okay? And just, like I said, if there's a love situation and there's other competition... Uh, the divine has everything under control. You just need to relax. This is keeping true to being unique and not pr comparing yourself. These people are comparing. Okay? They're brainstorming. Okay? Why can't I have it? I'm just as good. And they're comparing over here. We're not supposed to do that. You just be yourself. Okay? That's why you're being protected. Because that goes back to just being all marked up and stuff like that. Um, so keep true to yourself. This is... Um, this is positive what's coming out here for somebody. Now, this is on um, like a, a watery type color, but it's turquoise. And turquoise has a meaning of the higher heart. We have energies out here of the higher mind as well. And uh, tapping into, you know, the spirit. And also with Pisces energy, that'll flip you around. Also, you know, using your intuitive side which is emotional stuff but the um, turquoise represents something really refreshing something's ending here in a very big way okay 
Turquoise represents being sophisticated, okay, creativity and being calm. It's in that blue family, your throat chakra. Remember in the Hebrew, your your breath is your character. And that's why somebody's been protected and been able to stand here because of character and being stable and loyal. Turquoise is about loyalty, okay, wisdom. So anyway, that's what's coming out for you mutable signs. Let's go ahead and take a room. What further information do you want the mutable signs to know in this? I heard the divine say, make your move. If you've been afraid, you don't have to be afraid. Make your move. We have the Ewas coming out here, which looks like an M. That's actually the E. It also can look like a 3 or a W. So if that means anything, any of those letters coming out. We also have the X. And this X uh, also has a meaning of, it, well, the N is out here. And that's necessities. Your food. Okay. A crop of some sort, okay, being plowed away, and somebody's had to go through a really hard lesson because of idiots right here, okay, and manipulation that's happened along the way, things that have been hidden, okay, on your job or something that uh, that's connected to your livelihood because of prejudice stuff, sexual situations, maybe with the boss or, or just somebody in high regard or, or some type of situation about that where headship has had to get involved, okay? We got law out here. We also have a precious gift and intuition and gratification and things like that. Um being reciprocated here but there's deterioration and stuff like that for those who are, are not uh you know in the upright and that's what that represents so um we got the horse out here and that's positive that's jupiter energy that's just really nice uh favor and stuff like that there's big time unity in a situation this is behind you now the divine says relax you know what to do and uh, the divine just says uh, to, to move forward. There's favor here and protection and good luck coming out all over the place. Okay. The X has been an issue. Um, you don't have to worry about it. There's a judgment being made here. So that's positive. So um, put your shoulders back and send your message with that little page of cups and uh, send your engagement or invitation or uh, whatever that has been for you to your family because we had a lot of family stuff out there. There's deliverance and salvation. Something's completely ending for someone. To, uh, the, we got both bosses out here. So whatever corporate situations, like I said, have been, you know, button back and forth. The divine's moving in and, and moving something in a, in a really positive direction for you. So go celebrate. All right. Uh, until next time, Shalom. <laughs>